Hey guys, Celestial Guidance here, three threes, no E's. Okay, sorry, I haven't been posting. I've had a terrible sinus infection for like the past three weeks, but if I sound nasally, if I sound like flummy or raspy, just bear with me, okay? It's clearing out of my system. But we are going to do a reading on your soulmate. The song Drunken Love by Beyonce is very significant, okay? So somebody's drinking while thinking of you, okay? This person is fantasizing about you. This person is in love with you, okay? Your soulmate thinks about you all the time. And they have a lot of fantasies, okay? Lots of them. They want you. Three of Wands, okay? Spirit, tell us what we need to know, not what we want to hear, okay? Tell us about this soulmate. Okay, one of the cards that did come out was the Three of Wands, and this is literally Aries energy. Lots of passionate energy here. Your soulmate is waiting. What are they waiting for, Spirit? What is Celestial King's soulmate waiting for? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So, your soulmate is going through a loss right now, okay? So, your soulmate may be leaving an old situation to come forward, okay? The situation is very toxic. There's a lots of codependency there, and they realize that this energy is not good for them. They are getting jealous as they're waiting to leave the situation because you're out and able to do what you want to do and they don't like that they don't like that one bit okay so for others of you you may have met your soulmate already and they're waiting to come out of the cold with you you may have ghosted them you may have abandoned them you may have you know you may have been going through your own financial issues and decided it was best to leave because you didn't want to waste time excuse me i just burped confirmation and the devil card is here okay so this situation has caused you to just be in kind of negative energy, kind of negative self-talk, okay, as you're getting yourself together. So those are the few different soulmate situations I'm picking up on. So Spirit, tell us in Celestial Gang, tell me in Celestial Gang what it is with this soulmate spirit. Six of Wands, okay? So, Taurus energy, I forgot to say the energies on these cards. Capricorn energy and Leo energy. So, they are wanting to come forward. They want to come forward to you, but I think they feel like you have a lot going on and it's making you kind of toxic. I feel like it's also vice versa for some of you where... You're waiting for them, but they're kind of toxic right now. So take it how it resonates, okay? But good news is coming, okay? They want to bring some news to you because the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands here, okay? So there's heavy Aries energy and there's Cancer energy too, but your person that you're waiting on, your soulmate, they want to create... A marriage with you they want to create something of higher commitment they want to create something that's going to be long lasting with you maybe you two are just not on the same page right now but your soulmate wants to create a happy life with you you know but there seems to be a lot of distractions on one of your ends maybe the both of you are distracted but at the same time it seems like you both are overthinking about who should step up to the plate, okay? You both are kind of obsessed with each other right now. I just burped again. Confirmation. <laughs> you two are very obsessed with each other right now. And you guys are kind of visualizing your relationship in different ways. So maybe you have different 
ways of wanting to form this union and they have different ways they have different ways oh, i keep seeing waves they have different ways of trying to connect this union okay among the soulmate situation spirit okay so the temperance card so there has to be a lot of patience when it comes to this here because the anxiety in this energy is bad but this anxiety comes from how much passion and emotion that there is in this connection you two both want to share cups with each other but you are too scared to because you're balancing a lot of things on both of your ends okay so there's sagittarius energy here there's capricorn energy here again you two are very emotional about each other you two want things to work but it seems like you both are going through a form of loss that is causing issues within the connection that is stopping you from progressing your connection your soulmate is in the page of wands energy this is more aries energy there's a lot of aries energy here so this could be in somebody's chart or the both of your charts but with the page of wands energy here your soulmate could be kind of immature but they want what you want you want what they want but you're more mature than they are so they want to figure out how to approach you properly because you know they have addictions that they're battling you could have addictions that you're battling you guys both could be battling addictions but they realize that they're in this page of wands energy and they want to come forward and bring something to you i burped again confirmation so they want to come forward and they want to give you a form of commitment but something small like you know let's go out for coffee let's go to a diner let's go on a on a walk and just talk let's go on a drive and just drive listen to music and talk okay this person is wanting to do something small to come forward the chariot okay as i say come forward cancer energy so you could be dealing with a water sign an earth sign a fire sign there is no air on this table right now there is no air placements now watch when i shuffle an air card is gonna come out but with the chariot here there is a lot of baggage on both of your ends there's a lot of baggage but there's more baggage on the other person's side so your soulmate is really struggling and overthinking with how they should come forward to you because they kind of feel like they've been stagnant for so long they're like how do i approach my soulmate like will they take me if i give them this offer because i've waited so long so knight of wands okay this is kind of cute for some of you guys they actually want to relocate with you they want you to either move to their city or they want to move to your city or they just want you guys to live together be in closer proximity so the relationship can work so you two are at a distance not only physically but slightly emotionally but the connection is still here it's still strong you guys may be thinking of each other often maybe 
um, having telepathic communication, uh, dream walking, more in the soulmate spirit for celestial game. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. I'm gonna put these back because there that was a lot. Okay, so the Empress card. So the Empress card came out in reverse. All right, so they see you as an Empress, but they weren't trying to see you as an Empress because they were just going through a lot. They didn't think they were ready for that type of energy. But you're somebody that harvests a lot of feminine energy. You're somebody that is able to just create whatever they want to create. You hold a lot of love inside of you. And they feel like you've given them so much Empress energy. And they've kind of given you like the devil energy. And that's something that they want to fix. And they're hoping that like you give them the chance to fix it. Five of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely going to be an explanation here as to why they've been making everything sort of so complicated when it comes to your connection. Okay, there's definitely some family battles going on here. There's a lot of family fighting that's going on on their end. Not a lot of agreements, okay? So your soulmate's family may not agree with them choosing you as a partner. Like I said, this person can be... I don't know if I said this in my pickup pile reading that I just like posted or if I said this earlier, but this person is traditional, but they're willing to break that tradition side of them for you. Like they have a lot to lose. But they're willing to lose it for you. They just need to know if you're going to be all in. So this person is very nervous and overthinking. The Emperor card almost came out. So the Two of Cups took its place. Okay, so they want to offer you this love. They want to offer you something that is going to be tangible. They're going to offer you something that you won't refuse. They want to show you a different side of them. But their family has been holding them back from doing so. So they might gonna have to let them go okay they might have to let a few people go in order to do this and oh i just realized i haven't been saying the the signs okay knight of wands sagittarius the empress virgo five of wands leo two of cups cancer six of swords aquarius so those are the energies that are coming out we finally have an air sign in this reading okay so that's good now all the signs are covered but they are going to come to you okay this could be physically this could be over text message this could be a phone call this could be a facetime this could be a dm this could be a letter this could be them sending someone to you to communicate to you first to see if you're even open to communicating with them okay so their ego isn't crushed but they are wanting to come towards you and basically just profess their love to you like they believe that you're their soulmate and they know that you see them as a soulmate as well so they don't want to delay anything any further okay they lost you once they don't want to lose you again this is more Aquarius energy. They lost you once. They don't want to lose you again. They they know the feeling of losing you. They don't like it. Okay. They like your energy in their life. You're somebody that they could stick around with for life. You're just someone that is extremely talented. 
and you're someone that shows them the way you're somebody that shows them a different perspective in life not just one set way and they really like that on the soulmate energy spirit for celestial game king of wands more aries energy jeez so oh my goodness ten of cups the emperor so now we have the emperor and the empress out okay so your soulmate is actually getting prepared to you know be more flirtatious with you put themselves out there more be more sensitive okay they want to for some of you they might want to get you pregnant immediately for some of you you could get pregnant in 10 months or you may have given birth in october or you know somebody that gave birth in october so there is pisces energy here but there's a lot of aries energy they want to start a family with you they want to reconnect with you you are their future you are their future they're bottom of the deck okay three of pentacles they're wanting to build with you when they're not around you they're constantly getting bad karma they are constantly going through terrible things they're constantly having to figure out things on their own they feel very lost without you okay you're somebody that gave them guidance you're very sweet you're very loving you give motherly energy like the empress you're somebody that is you're somebody that just knows what they want you're somebody that knows what they need you're very honest you have integrity you're somebody that just goes after what they want with no hesitation all right this is something that this person needs for balance look at this nine of cups you make this person extremely happy like there's really nothing that you can do to upset this person this person can't even stay mad at you you're someone that just takes all their problems away you don't add to the stress you don't give them burdens you don't complicate things you make things very easy for this person and that's why they can imagine marriage with you but they just need to know if you're wanting to be married to them they want to restart this connection with you so you guys definitely know who your soulmate is already they're just in a toxic environment or around toxic people that is making them kind of seem like they're toxic and a karmic. But in reality, this is your soulmate. Okay, look, bottom of the deck, they're extremely sad. They're grieving over you because they didn't offer you something when they knew they should have offered you something. And now they're kind of having to build their way back up. You guys may have competition now and this is something that is really like making them uncomfortable this is something that they kind of were expecting because you know you're like a showstopper you know you're if they if they see you this way other people definitely see you how they see you so this is your message on your soulmate okay your soulmate is feeling very anxious without you around. You're somebody that just kept them grounded. You're somebody that actually wanted the best for them. So, closing card spirit. <laughs> the Hierophant card. Spirit does it every time. Spirit does it every time. So this is going to lead to a higher commitment. So this is going to be up to you guys if you want to restart everything. So you could see who they really are. Or, you know, you could just keep that old memory of them as being the page of wands and not seeing their emperor side. So they're ready to show you their emperor side, but they're scared that you still see them in this energy. An immature person who doesn't know how to express themselves so that is all i have for you guys today okay so make sure that you like comment and subscribe
subscribe, okay? And if you do deal with your soulmate again, just go very slow. Use your discernment because this is something that can pick up very quickly, okay? So a long conversation is going to come from this. So just be prepared, but enjoy yourself, okay? Bye!